Making optical illusion photos can be done in three clicks for absolutely free. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So the other day I found this Instagram page. He was posting celebrities' faces, but they were optical illusions. So if you look at this, it looks like Whole Lotta Red by Cardi, but it's just the shape of trees. So he's not actually there, but it just looks like it at first glance. Same thing for Kanye right here. It's like mountains and he's the snow. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to Hugging Face. I have the link down below, but it's basically the artificial intelligence area where everyone posts their models and creations that they have. So you might have to make an account, you might not, but if you click the link down below, it should take you to what we're gonna use. This might look a little complicated at first, but it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. You fill out the left side, so drop your image in, click whatever you want. For example, in this image, the input illusion was the Apple logo. So put whatever you want the illusion to be. I'm gonna be using this check mark and I'm gonna try to make it look like a river going flowing through the check mark if that makes sense so all i'm gonna do is drag and drop it into here it takes it i'm gonna turn the strength up i'll show you what this means in a second the higher up you have it the more you can see the check mark the lower it is so if you have it down here you're not gonna see the check mark very much but i'm gonna have it up pretty high so i can see it just to show you guys then i'm gonna type a river flowing just that and then that's your prompt the negative prompt is what you don't want to see so by default it has low quality so you don't want to see low quality. Maybe I don't want to see animals, the sun. Advanced options, I don't usually mess with this, but you can change the seeds, all that. I'm going to run it. See right here, two out of 12 seconds. So it's creating it right now, and then it's going to appear. Now this took about 12 seconds to make, but you see it's not really the river that I was imagining. I guess you don't know what I was imagining, but I was picturing like a flowing river with rocks on the side and everything. So what I'm going to do is turn down the strength so I don't see the check mark as much and I'm gonna get more in depth with my prompt. So what I just changed it to was a river flowing, winding through a forest with rocks on each side of the river. I also turned the strength down and now I'm gonna run it again. Now this is a lot more what I was picturing. You see the river, you got a rock right in the middle, but it turned the shadow into the check mark that we have. Blended it in very nice. I just changed the prompt to sand instead of rocks and I'm running it again. Now after turning the strength down to 0.8, way lower, it gave me this result. At first you might not even see the check mark, but it's the shadow right here from the trees hidden in plain sight. For the next photo I make, I wanna make this sunglasses emoji in the middle of an airport. So I'm gonna save this. this. Output's way too strong. This is not what we're looking for. I'm gonna turn the strength back down. This looks better. You can see the people walking around, but that's still too much to me. I'm gonna turn it down to one. And this is the part you gotta mess with. It's gonna be different for you. It's gonna be different for every image. So changing your strength and rerunning it is something you're gonna have to get used to. Something like this is what I was imagining. I like this output. See the mouth right here? the circle of his face. If this wasn't a PNG, I believe it wouldn't worry about that circle, but you see, they're kind of the eyes. If you turn the strength back up, like I said, you're gonna see it even stronger. So finding the perfect medium is what you're gonna wanna do. For the last example, I wanna try a famous person's face. So once again, took a couple attempts of trial and error, but 1.5 seemed to be the sweet spot. Basketball hoop right here, got the court, his mouth is like the line. I'm not sure why this is up here, but that's an easy fix in Photoshop. So that's John Cena's face as a basketball court. This is Illusion Diffusion. I have the link down below, like I said in the beginning. All these examples that you see right now were made with Illusion Diffusion. If you make anything cool, let me know. You could post it in my Discord. You can let me know down below. And thank you for watching.